The meditational deity Vajra Naratmya is fairly well known, uh, although we really do not have a lot of uh, modern art or recent art for her. She is one of these deities that has, for the most part, fallen out of uh, popularity uh, by practitioners. And, and because of that, we just don't have a demand for the creation of paintings or sculpture and uh, so we have primarily earlier art or or mid-period art we have uh, primarily 14th 15th and 16th century art for vajra naratmya now naratmya sanskrit is a sanskrit term it means uh, egoless or selfless one uh she's a she's a famous for for uh, being the consort of he vajra another important meditational deity although vajra narayana is only the consort for he vajra in his form with eight faces and 16 arms for the other three main forms of he vajra there's different consorts uh, such as vajravarahi and shrinkala or dombi so vajra narayana is uh, semi-peaceful, semi-wrathful, blue in color, one face, two arms, typically. And we have uh, a number of different uh, configura configuration, mandala configurations for her. Uh, now, she can be solitary just by herself. Uh, then we have uh, two arms, one face within a 15 deity mandala, and that comes out of the actual Hevajra Tantra itself. Then we have uh, one-faced four-armed with a 23 deity mandala, and that comes out of the Samputa Tantra. Then we have we have really a, a, a bit of an oddball one because it's a 13 deity mandala, and the retinue figures are not uh, are not really found in in any of the Hevajra Tantras that I'm aware of and that I've read. And, and this 13 deity, Vajranaritmiya, comes down from Padampa Sangje. It's quite, quite a curious uh, uh, practice because also in the outer retinue you have a number of uh, bodhisattva type figures such as Vajrapani, Avalokiteshvara, uh, but you also have uh, uh, Kasarpana. Now Kasarpana is, is a form of Avalokiteshvara. But in the mandala, you have Kasarpana, you have Avalokiteshvara, uh, Nivrana Vishkamben, you have a number of different different uh, uh, figures that you wouldn't normally associate with Vajra Naratmiya or He Vajra or, or this type of meditational system. Now, also for with Vajra Naratmiya, it's very common uh, to find her as uh, the, the second figure in uh, lineage uh, painting sets or in single composition lineages at the top of a painting. Uh, so Vajra Naratmiya is very important as the second uh, lineage holder or the the teacher of the Mahasiddha Varupa. So this is a, a very important context which she is found in. Now often when she's found in uh, lineage sets of paintings she's often depicted as seated rather than standing in a dancing posture. Now, with, with sculpture of Vajra Naratmiya, I think it's almost impossible to distinguish between Vajra Yogini in a dancing posture and Vajra Naratmiya in a dancing posture in sculpture. Uh, because they're, they're identical in ornaments, uh, number of faces, arms, and uh, hand attributes. So, the only difference you can really make is when you come across a Vajra Yogini that is actually depicting Vajra Varahi with the pig's face on the right hand side of uh, Vajra Yogini's head or the pig's face on the crown of the head. Then you know that that is not a Vajra Naratmiya, but in fact a Vajra Varahi. So uh, with sculpture, it, it really can be very difficult uh, to determine and to distinguish between the Vajrayoginis and the Vajranaritmiya. Um, now, for early paintings, primarily we're looking at uh, mandalas. Uh, a very large number of the early compositions are mandalas. Uh, very few are actually uh, just plain depictions of the deity. Um, so... 
And where we do find paintings in modern times, then they're generally uh, compositions of mandalas from sets of mandalas, such as the Mitragyatsa or the Vajravali, or, or a set such as that, where even though the practice is no longer really popular, it is still carried on within a, within a system, and that system may be popular, a system of initiations. The system of initiations is popular to give and to transmit. Not all of the practices within uh, that uh, collection of initiations Initiations and meditational systems, not all of the practices are popular, but the transmission of the full collection of practices is popular, if that makes sense to you. Uh, so that's Vajra We have a lot of uh, very, very good masterwork examples for her. Uh, and uh, but again, not so popular in in current times. 